Psalm 40 verses 2, 4, 7 to 10. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I waited, waited for the Lord, who bent down and heard my cry. And put a new song in my mouth, a hymn to our God. Many shall look on in awe and they shall trust in the Lord. Sacrifice and offering you do not want, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts and sin offerings you do not require, so I said, Here I am, your commands for me are written in the scroll. To do your will is my delight, my God, your law is in my heart. I announced your deed to a great assembly. I did not restrain my lips, you, Lord, are my witness. In the first four verses David lists some of the many blessings he has received from God. Verse 2, God heard his cry for help and provided him with the needed help. Verse 3, God pulled David out of the pit of destruction. Verse 3, God pulled him out of the swamp and set his feet on rock. Verse 4, God put a new song in his mouth, a hymn to God. Verse 4 In helping David, many will look upon the Lord with trust. Verse 7, God has done all these marvelous things for David, and asks only for, ears, open to obedience. David's response is, that he will do whatever God asks of him. David then tells the great assembly why they need to follow his lead in doing the will of God. Have you ever noticed how hard it is to wait for God's help? David, the author of this psalm, earned the benefits of patience because his God brought him out of his despair. David focused on what was important, God. David continued to walk in faith. David played a harp and one of God's rewards for his patience was the composition of a song. Sometimes it is hard to do the Lord's will. But ask yourself this question, when, didn't doing the Lord's will, benefit me? Now ask yourself to list all of the wonderful acts of deliverance God has allowed to come into your life. It would take a long time wouldn't it and even if you did write them down you would have forgotten a great many blessings, wouldn't you? Do your best and God will do the rest. Nick Vujicic